Ari, we are trying to share our screen right now. Just a second. Here you are. We are. Hi, everyone. Oh. Woohoo! Okay. I'm Kaka, and here by my side is Carol. We have a project here in Brazil called Use Crypto. Uh, we, uh, where we educate people about cryptocurrency and blockchain. We are very happy to talk with you today. We are going to speak about crypto usability in Latin America. So, Carol will guide the presentation. Hello, let's go then. So, if we observe the map around the world about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin legality around the world, we are in different stages of discussion. Some uh, countries think Bitcoin cryptocurrency is legal. Other countries don't have a clear discussion yet. And other countries have even forbidden the use of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Here in Latin America, uh, two countries think it's legal, uh, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. They are Brazil and Chile. Two countries think uh, it's illegal, it's forbidden there, that's Equator and Bolivia. And the rest of the countries in Latin America don't have yet resolutions or uh, ready discussions or regulations. It is a thing that is being discussed in our, around the world right now. So... If we see this chart about the use of cryptocurrencies around the world, we can notice that uh, from the top 10, five are from Latin America. They are Brazil, Colombia, Argentina, Mexico, and Chile. So we really like cryptocurrencies. Uh, uh, Latin America, it's a region of the world uh, formed by 20 countries, and we are in different sta stages of adoption. There are regions that use more cryptocurrencies and regions that use less. But the adoption is increasing really, really fast. And our question uh, that we made to ourselves is why the adoption is increasing so fast? And one of the reasons is here it's really common to have a financial crisis, political crisis, and this impact at the government budgets they have deficits and they don't know how to control the economy of the countries. And one of the ways they try to control it is by creating more money. They start to print money or to create digital money. So this uh, printing of money may cause money devaluation. The prices start to rise and it starts a process called inflation where the same amount of money you have to buy your things on the market, it starts to don't be enough. You need more and more money to buy the stuff for your house, your, your things. So this causes financial depression, lack of trust in the government, and people try other things to um, escape from, from the financial crisis. One of them are crypto. This chart is from uh, last year, 2018. Uh, and right now, uh, Argentina and Venezuela are the countries that are passing through a situation of inflation. Last year, Argentina got 16% uh, of inflation, and Venezuela got uh, more than 2,000% of inflation. That is huge. Here in Brazil, we already passed through a situation of hyperinflation. That's when uh, the government lose the control over the rates of inflation, and the prices starts to get even more, more and more high. So uh, when it happened in Brazil, our president took the, the money from the counter bank of the population. It is a trauma for us here in Brazil, and this is already solved, but this ghost is still um, passed through here sometimes. Uh, Argentina is the first country we want to talk about. They are passing right now by a financial crisis. Their money already lost more than 70% of value. The merchants complain of the high taxes prices and cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are becoming strong alternative to their fiat currency, that is the peso. In Venezuela, as we uh, told, 
They are passing through a, a severe financial crisis. Their fiat currency called Bolivar already lost more than 90% of value at this process called hyperinflation, where the government lose control of, of the inflation. And this is accelerating really, really fast the process of ado adoption of the cryptocurrencies over there. They try, they start to buy cryptocurrencies to, uh, to become a store of value, uh, trying to escape from the hyperinflation. And other situation where uh, cryptocurrencies are really being used is at the remittances. It's uh, really common that people try to run away from the um, cr uh, financial crisis. They go to other countries, try to get jobs there. They find the jobs and they start to send money for their relatives at Venezuela or other countries around to uh, cryptocurrencies because it's a cheaper way, a fast way. It don't have intermediaries like uh, the bank. So uh, through remittances, cryptocurrency adoption is increasing really fast. Another information is that Venezuela ha uh, already have its own national cryptocurrency, but it's not decentralized. It's created by their central bank. So it's also vulnerable to uh, inflation as well because it's uh, not limited. Okay, this is a picture where we uh, exemplify the hyperinflation. This is the amount of money uh, you need in Venezuela to buy a, um, pay, a paper toilet. So if you need to buy everything you need to your house in the markets, think about the amount of money you need to bring to the market. Maybe a truck of money or bags or bags and bags of money. So this is what hyperinflation causes. When you use cryptocurrency, your money is in your, in your wallet inside your mobile device. It's way much more practical. And uh, even uh, in Venezuela, they have a uh, devaluation of the money. When you use cryptocurrency, even with the volatile, volatility of the, uh, of the cryptocurrency, uh, their fiat currency is way more uh, volatile. So, so this is a picture of Venezuela. There they are making a lot of meetups. A coin called Dash is expanding crypto adop adoption. They are teaching people how to use cryptocurrencies, wallets, how to make transactions, showing the benefits of it. And the other country we wanted to show you is uh, Colombia. Colombia is a very, very crypto friendly country. Uh, their president elected uh, last year, Duke, he is a really enthusiastic of the cryptocurrencies. He promised uh, to relieve cryptocurrency related business taxes. Uh, they think also that blockchain in crypto has a potential to create new jobs and stimulate economy. And they are beside uh, Venezuela. They are receiving a lot of Venezuelan people that are using already cryptocurrencies and this is accelerating their prom process of adoption also. Uh, this is a picture of uh, Dash, the cryptocurrency that is making the meetups. Uh, it's a coin really common at Colombia. So as uh, Bitcoin Cash and uh, Bitcoin. And finally, our country, Brazil. We live here. Brazil is a country of contrasts. Here we have uh, a big population, the biggest population in Latin America. And also we are the richest country in Latin America but we also have the biggest uh, rates of poverty. We are the ninth more rich country in the world, but we are in 79 in the ranking of human development. So we have money, but we are not so uh, developed at, at like quality of life, education, salaries. So we need to improve a lot more at this sector. But we, are, uh, we have uh, a population of 200 million people, but we have uh, 60 million of unbanked people. This is it's like a, a 30%. Yes, 30% of, of our population don't have bank accounts. So this is a great potential of growth for the cryptocurrency around here. And the reasons people say because they don't have enough money, because they think bank services too expensive or too bureaucratic and cryptocurrencies can uh, resolve all of the, those things. Another uh, reason that uh, people say that bank is too expensive because we have one of the highest uh, rates of uh, taxes over credit card. 
is like 400% a year. So if you don't buy, don't, don't pay your credit card account, you need to pay 400% of your bill. So it's uh, really high. And the main reason we also think here in Latin America, we really are adopting cryptocurrency as a way of payment is because we are really connected. We like a lot of technology. At this chart, we can see that uh, Brazilian people are in second place in use per day of internet. We, we use an average like nine hours a day internet. And if you see there, Colombia, Argentina, Mex um, Mexico are right, are right behind us. So all countries in Latin America like very much uh, technology. This is one of the reasons we are adopting really fast. Another information is that here in Brazil, there are more people buying and owning cryptocurrencies more than equities in stock market. This, is, this shows the great potential of cryptocurrency around here. But one information of contrast is what we observe here is that we participate of meetups, of uh, meetings at uh, organizations, uh, academies. Uh, everybody is enthusiastic, everybody believes the technology, but we don't see it in our real lives. If, if we go to the shopping, to the stores, to the markets, we don't see people accept, accepting cryptocurrencies. And this is uh, the reason why we, we created Use Crypto, our channel, to show people that Cryptocurrency has a lot of advantages. It can be changed uh, because it's re registered at blockchain. It's immutable. It's peer-to-peer. -peer, it's person-to-person. -person. You have global access. You can send transactions across the globe to other people in other countries. You have lower fees than traditional bank services, and they are instant transactions. You do in minutes. If you want to send like uh, remittances, it normally takes like two days or a week, depends on the service. So cryptocurrency is here to globalize money transactions. So what is missing for people to adopt cryptocurrency more than already is? This is the question we made ourselves. And this is the reason why we created Uzi Crypto, our channel, to try to stimulate, to spread the knowledge about this technology to make more people to know about technology and to think about their financial systems and to have more knowledge about money, how to, how to treat money. And there is other options of uh, deal with money, like cryptocurrencies. We are participating in meetups at academies. They are studying a lot of this, about all of this and we think it's the future, it's the technology, and the knowledge that will expand the consciousness of people and make them uh, have better choices. So we agree with crypto chicks. Education can change the world. And by changing people's choices and people's minds, we need to uh, bring education and information for people so they can apply it in their lives. And we want to thank very much for this opportunity for us to be in here from Brazil it's huge technology technology made this possible if there wasn't technology we couldn't be talking to you at bahamas and it's an honor to participate of this event we want to thank everyone and we are hoping crypto chicks come to brazil if comes we'll be certainly there uh, supporting everyone and everything we want to see you in real life here maybe sometime in brazil this is uh, our contacts our channel our YouTube channel, Uzi Crypto, Instagram, Uzi Crypto, and our email, if you have any questions, suggestions, everything, please contact us. And kisses from Brazil, it's great to be here with you. Thank you very much, ladies. Uh, so uh, we are moving on to Dr. Rush Matama. Uh, so she's joining us from the US, and she will be talking about the blockchain the uh, lower endowments. Um, I have to remind you that we uh, recorded this presentation, so if you want, you will have the ability to watch them uh, as well in detail. So please welcome Dr. Reshma Tamar. Hey.